Hi and welcome to program three in this series of tutorials and programs focusing on multicharts power language. Uh, if you're not on our email list then please go to chartplex.com c-h-a-r-t-p-l-e-x.com and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. One of the uh, the facilities available in multicharts is the the line break chart and you can see you can see that here um, essentially it's made up of little building blocks and those blocks build on each other and then to get a reversal you have to uh, break in this case this is a three line break chart uh, you have to break the third line or you have to close lower than the third line in the case of an upward uh, the green three line breaks you then have the close has to be lower than the third line and you change direction and then similarly if you're if you've got the red bars forming the close has to be greater than the the third red line here and then you change direction so that's something that is available in multi charts what I've done is created a line break program that applies to normal bars and in this case I've made the bars gray and so you can see how these boxes are overlaid on price action. Now you have to use your imagination a little bit here because where you see a, a bunch of uh, like blocks that is actually one line uh, on a line break chart. So let me just go over the uh, the inputs for you and uh, incidentally this is something that may be useful for you. Uh, hopefully it would certainly be useful if you wanted to open it up and look at the uh, the coding inside it which includes uh, dynamic arrays and, and uh, there are also a couple of functions attached to it, drawing the boxes and sorting the array. So um, first of all, number of bars break. As I mentioned, this one is a three line break, but you could make it a different number. Um, draw lines, you can set this to false. If this is set to false, then what we have, uh, instead of seeing the boxes drawn, we just get these dots, which indicate a change in uh, direction of the line break chart and you can determine how far away these dots are from the price action by just adjusting the input disp perk which stands for displacement percentage so if we make that say five you'll notice that those those uh, little dots just go a little bit further away from the price action. Incidentally, uh, when you're setting this, if, if you do decide to download it and it is available for a nominal fee, um, if you go to the actual program, you will need to make sure that a couple of things that the, uh, the type is set to point give it a well if you want it to look the way I've got it set up here and uh, also the scaling is the same as the instrument and in terms of properties make sure it's on subchart number one anyway I uh, hope you might find this useful if uh, if so it is available for immediate download for a, a nominal fee at chartplex.com and again if you're not on chartplex.com that's c-h-a-r-t-p-l-e-x.com if you're not on the email list then please join and uh, I will be happy to let you know when I create new programs or tutorials so thank you very much